morning everyone and welcome to Emmanuel Southhill. It's great to have you with us. If you're joining us for the first time today, a very special welcome to you. My name is Jo and I'm the vicar here at Emmanuel Church. This week we're starting a new series of talks and we're going to be exploring over the next nine weeks some sayings that Jesus said that are known as the I am sayings. And Jesus said seven of these sayings in the Gospel of John and over the next few weeks we're going to be exploring them a bit more. Today we start with the first saying, I am the bread of life. And a bit later in our service I'm going to be speaking on that saying. We start our service now with a prayer. Lord Jesus, teach us not to worry about anything, not to want answers for all things, but Lord, teach us to rely on you, for you are the bread of life. And when we come to you, we will never be hungry. And so Lord, as we gather today, both in the church building and here online, may your Holy Spirit dwell with us. Open our hearts and our minds so that we learn more about you, Jesus. Be with us now, we pray. In Jesus' name, Amen. And we're going to sing together now.
reading from John 6, starting at verse 28 and going through to verse 51. Then they said to him, What must we do to be doing the works of God? Jesus answered them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. So they said to him, Then what sign do you do that we may see and believe you? What work do you perform? Our fathers ate the manna in the wilderness, as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus then said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven, but my Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. They said to him, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. But I said to you that you have seen me and yet do not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I will never cast out. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me that I should lose nothing of all he's given me, but raise it up on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who looks on the Son and believes in him should have eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. So the Jews grumbled about him, because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. They said, Is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How does he now say, I've come down from heaven? Jesus answered them, Do not grumble among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up on the last day. It's written in the prophets, and they will all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard and learnt from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father, except he who is from God, he has seen the Father. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers ate the manna in the wilderness and they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven so that one may eat of it and not die. I'm the living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. I wonder if you've watched more TV in the last year than you would normally do. And I wonder if you've got a favourite TV series that you've been watching. Well, if you enjoy a good series, you'll know how important it is not to miss one. Because you can miss something essential to the whole plot line. Well, a sermon series is a bit like that. And over the next nine weeks, we're going to be looking at the I am sayings of Jesus. To say it all in one talk is too much. And so we've split them up into this series um, and they all fit together. And essentially, they're all really part of the same thing and they help us understand more about Jesus. So I'd really encourage you to approach them like they're part of the same thing. And if you can't get to church one week um, or you can't watch on a Sunday morning to make sure you catch up and watch it online at another stage so that you don't miss a vital part of the whole being. Now, there's seven I am sayings in the Gospel of John, and we're going to start the series by looking at the first five of them. And then in the middle of the series, we've got Pentecost and Trinity Sunday. So we'll pause the series for Pentecost. And then on Trinity Sunday, we're going to take the opportunity to think about God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit in the context of the I Am sayings. And then we're going to continue the series with the final two sayings. And so that's why we're going to be exploring them over the next nine weeks. 
I wonder if you can recall any of the I am sayings. Have a think. I'm going to read them for you. I am the bread of life, the light of the world, the door, the good shepherd, the resurrection and the life, the way, the truth and the life, and the true vine. And when Jesus described himself as these things, it was no accident that he used the words I am as part of the sayings. Because not only was Jesus describing himself as bread and light and the door and so on, but Jesus was making a far more significant statement, one that would have been seen as completely outrageous. And to help us understand this more, we need to look right back at the beginning of the Bible in the book of Exodus, when Moses was being called by God. And Moses was questioning his own ability. He wasn't really sure if he had the right abilities to do what God was asking him. And so I'm going to read now from Exodus chapter 3. I'm going to read from verse 13. But Moses said to God, if I come to the Israelites and I say to them, the God of your ancestors has sent me to you, and they ask me, what is his name? What shall I say to them? And God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said further, thus you should say to the Israelites, I am has sent me to you. God also said to Moses, thus you shall say to the Israelites, the Lord, the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name forever. And this is my title for all generations. So when Jesus refers to himself as I am, he's not only commenting on bread or light, but he's also making it clear who he is, that he's God. For Moses, I am sent him. But in these seven sayings that we're going to explore over the next few weeks, Jesus is making it clear that he is divine. I am the bread of life. I am the light of the world and so on. Each of these seven statements is what we call a Christological statement. It's a statement about who Christ is, about his divinity. And then the statements continue with an image or a concept that is memorable. And it helps us understand more of the importance of following Jesus. And so we see these images, bread and light and shepherd and so on. And they're not just material images, but they hold a deeper symbolic meaning. And so you see, the I am sayings are actually really significant. And in Jesus's time, they would have been radical beyond what we can probably imagine today. In our reading from John's Gospel today, we heard the first of the I am sayings. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. And I love this I am saying because it has so many symbolic meanings. And I'm sure we could do a whole series of talks just thinking about bread and the significance of bread. So today we're probably just going to skim the surface of it. But the image of bread is so significant that it's actually repeated twice more. If you've got a Bible and you want to look this up, you'll be able to find it in John chapter 6. The first time is verse 35 and then it's repeated in verse 48 and verse 51. I am the bread of life. I am the bread of life. I am the living bread. Now, I wonder what your favourite type of bread is. It might be ciabatta, it might be naan bread or pita bread, or it could be pretzel 
or tortilla. There's so many different types of bread and the significance of bread is cross-cultural. Every country and every culture has its own bread. And so when Jesus said, I am the bread of life, it doesn't matter where you're from in the world, you can relate to this statement. I've got French family and when I was a child, we would always go on holiday to France to visit family. And so one of my favorite breads is baguette and not just any baguette, but my favorite bread is the leftovers of yesterday's baguette, toasted and then dipped in hot chocolate for breakfast. I loved that when I was a child. And honestly, you will probably still put a big smile on my face if you gave me hot chocolate and toasted baguette today. I'm not really a big breakfast eater, but when I was a kid, I would eat toasted baguette dipped in hot chocolate until I was full and I couldn't eat another thing. However, it wouldn't take me long before I was hungry again. And then I'd be seeking the next French treat or, or, or lunch. The bread filled me up but it didn't sustain me for long. I got hungry again. And this was exactly what happened to a crowd of people in Jesus's time. If you've got a Bible, you'll be able to read the whole story. We only read a little bit of it today, but the whole story in John chapter six, a large crowd of people, about 5,000 men, plus women and children, follow Jesus. And after a while, after a while of following him, they got hungry. And I'm sure you may well be familiar with this story because Jesus performed the most amazing miracle, taking five loaves of bread and two fish. He fed this ginormous crowd of people and they ate as much as they wanted and they were full. But it wasn't long before they were hungry again. And so this same large crowd came looking for Jesus. The bread had sustained them for a bit, but they were hungry again and they wanted more. And this time Jesus offers them something deeper, the true bread given from God, the bread sent from heaven that will give life to the world the bread that will sustain them always and satisfy more than physical hunger. Jesus says, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. We all have physical hungers. We cannot live without food for any length of time but we also have spiritual hungers, spiritual needs that only Jesus can truly fulfill. And when we follow him, when we ask him to feed us and to nourish us, he promises to give us bread from heaven. In the wilderness, the Israelites relied on manna, which was a, a temporary provision, a temporary uh, form of bread that they ate and that was a that was from heaven but it was a temporary provision from heaven jesus is the bread of life and when we seek him he offers food that will sustain us for eternity and so the challenge today as we consider that is to think about what is it that sustains us what do we turn to for nourishment what do we turn to for sustenance? Is it the food from heaven? Is it Jesus or do we try and seek satisfaction from other things? Jesus will give us life for eternity. He sustains us. He wants to provide us with the bread of life. So ask him today. Seek him today. Amen. 
So we say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. to the end of our service now and next week we're going to continue exploring the I am sayings of Jesus with the next of these sayings I am the light of the world so join us again next week to hear more about that now if you'd like to join us in person for worship at Emmanuel Church you are very warmly welcomed to do that 
and all you need to do is book yourself a seat. So to do that, you can email at booking at box123.co.uk. I'll say that again, booking at box123.co.uk. And we just need to know who's coming so that we can make sure there's the right seats out. But we'd love to see you in person at Emmanuel Church. We're going to finish now with a final prayer and a blessing. So let's pray. Let's pray. Jesus' hands reached out and he says, I am the bread of life. I am the living bread of God. Lord Jesus, give us this bread today. May our lives enrich those about us with the love of God, which is everlasting and will never perish. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with each one of you and all those you love this day and forevermore. Amen. Mm -hmm.